Thanks to Cuds as usual for the help with everything that goes into making these videos. His links will be in the description below. When observing scammers, we sometimes start watching them halfway through a call with a victim. That was the case today. This scammer that we're looking at, Tashin of Banea Solutions in Kolkata, just tried to scam this innocent lady out of $35,000. Obviously, we weren't standing for that. I'm going to show you how this call went, and then I'm going to show you what I did in response. This company are running the refund scam, but this isn't the only scam that Banea Solutions run. They also run the education scam, and they do a lot of lead generating for other companies. Lead generating is basically collecting information on people that other scam companies can use to scam them. Another interesting thing about this company is they're using a money mule in China, which we have the full name and address for. We're going to take a little look at this after I've shown you what happened with the victim. So now I'm going to show you a bit of the scammer's call with the victim. You're going to see and hear the scammer's screen and audio. So let's get on with it. Please note, while I was recording this video, at some points, up until about five minutes in, I had to freeze the video a few times. This was because I was messing about in front of the scammer's screen. And there were some things going on which I can't post to YouTube. So that's why the video and audio may seem out of sync, and it may seem as if the video has been frozen on the wrong thing at certain points. Just minimize the red box, minimize it. You minimize the red box first. Then you try to open up the Google Chrome. Then you try to open up Google Chrome. Then you try to just go to your bank page. It's come up. Okay, and what does it say? What is the amount you can see over there? It says 55,000. And what was the previous balance? What was the previous balance? As I said, this scam is running the refund scam. And it's the Amazon variant of the refund scam. At this point in the call, when we started watching, the scammer had already made the victim accidentally type 35,000 instead of 350. This happens in virtually every refund scam, where they use the command prompt and, and make the victim type a refund amount. Then the scammer will add one or more zeros to the amount that the victim has typed in order to make it look like a lot more money has been transferred. This bit's already happened, but it was when the scammer said this that I was absolutely horrified and I knew something had to be done as soon as possible. So the extra amount, that means it's uh, 35,000, right? Just give me a moment. You do one thing, ma'am. You just log out from your bank first. You just sign out from your bank. Now you do one thing. You open up the red box. At the bottom of the page, you will see a black small box over there. Just try to click on the black small box at the bottom. Okay, now you type in over there, money received, uh, $35,000, a dollar symbol, and 35000, zero, zero, zero. no dot, nothing. Then give a space. Then BY buy. Then after buy, give a space and type in your full name, okay? Okay. So now just give me a moment, ma'am, okay? What I'll do, I'll just talk to my financial team and I'll just talk to my manager and I'll just find out a way, I'll just find out a solution that uh, how can you refund us back the money? How can you return us back the money, okay? Because your refund amount was $350. So if you take out $350 from $35,000, uh, it comes to like the extra money which went into your account is $34,650, right? If you'll minus 350 from $35,000, the extra amount is 34650 right? So we will just find out the solution, like how we can get back the money. You just do not do anything, ma'am, because I will, I'm in a big trouble now because my manager is shouting at me and uh, he's like yelling at me and I don't know what to do. Like I'll lose my job and I'll have to pay the money also because if we do not fix this error, okay? If we do not get back the money, if we do not fix the error, I'll be in a huge trouble. So you just give me a moment. I'll just have a word with my manager and the financial team. I'll just find out a solution that how can you get back the extra money. And in the meanwhile, I'll just request you do not sign in from any of your other devices into your online banking because af as you have already uh, checked your account in a different computer and this computer always and you have seen the money that the money is there, right? 
so I'll request you do not sign in because it is connected to a live server and the extra money is there if you try to log in and I request you do not try to transfer that money from your checking account to anywhere because if you'll try to do that I'll be in a huge problem and there will be a legal consequences the reason he's asking her not to check on any other device is because the money won't be there the inspect element that he's done on her savings account to make it look as if the money is still in there although he's transferred most of her savings to her checking account will not be there on any other device hello yes uh, ma'am uh, i had a word with my i had a lengthy conversation with my manager and uh, like uh, he gave me a solution and he just wants to fix it up so i just requested him to talk to you because uh, uh, generally he doesn't talk to any customers but i just requested him because this is a huge problem this is a huge mess so just i requested him to talk to you and uh, fix it fix this error okay so i'll just transfer this line to my manager and he will be guiding you like how to fix it up okay thank you for being on the line you're speaking to Tashin. yeah i'm one of the manager how are you okay just tell me whose mistake was it so uh, out of this thirty five thousand uh, dollars how much is your refund ma'am okay no no uh, your your refund amount is how much your refund amount so um the extra amount which has gone into your account is thirty four thousand six fifty dollars now the account what you have that's a check-in account right and check-in in a savings account that's not a business account well understand one thing the account what we have that's a business or a commercial account okay now one uh, one thing i would like to tell you is like since we are the refund team mrs so we do not have any such account where we can take the money of the customer we can only give it to the customer okay the second thing is even if I arrange any account for you from any department like uh, from any sales or marketing team from any department still um, you would not be able to transfer the money uh, without the tax because the account what you hold that's a checking account but the account what we hold that's a business account so if you transfer money from a checking account to a business account you would have to pay a business tax now I do not want you to pay that business tax from your pocket because the bigger the amount the bigger the tax it's not hundred or two hundred dollar tax it's a big tax the bigger the amount the bigger the tax so I don't want you to pay that from your pocket because you did not do this mistake intentionally okay this nonsense about business tax is just another tactic to socially engineer the victim into using their preferred method of money transfer so I'll find out a solution for you okay I'll give you an account okay I'll give you an account um, uh, where you can transfer this money but um, that um, that will not cost you any any business tax that would be a personal account okay and how far is your bank from your place mr about 20 minutes so just close everything and wait i'll give you the account details okay just close everything i'll give it to you on your computer and since you don't have a printer i would want you to just make a note of it okay yeah that's okay that's that's fine i'll open up a notepad and i'll give it to you this was my favorite part when the idiot logged into his whatsapp this allowed me to get his full name which you've heard a few times now the reason he's going onto his WhatsApp though is quite interesting. I'm going to show you that now. You can see that he's speaking to a contact called Lalit. And in this message from Lalit, there is an address, a name, and all the details of a bank account in Hong Kong. We're going to have a closer look at that shortly. Fantastic. So this, uh, so you got this uh, written down on a piece of paper? Okay. Now you have to take this paper okay and you have to just go to the bank okay your bank okay now i'll tell you what you need to do when you go to the bank you tell your banker that you want to uh, do an international transfer to hong kong okay you want to do an international transfer to hong kong they will ask you the details you give them the details the account holder name is chan yu chung pong okay the account number is zero one two they'll ask you for the details you give them the details okay the only thing which you need to keep in mind is if in case they don't ask you anything you don't have to tell them anything proactively from your side about the refund or about the extra money or about you did a mistake or about whatever happened okay if in case they ask you that why are you sending this money you know this person personally tell them yes I know this person personally and as usual we have the coaching of the victim making them lie to their bank if they actually end up going there and the amount of victims that comply with this is just shocking he's uh, one of my friend and he's helping me to buy a property in Hong Kong I know him personally okay this is would be this would be your answer and I'll tell you the reason why because if any time your bank people gets to know that you're sending this money to a business because of the mistake they will ask you to pay for a business tax now not just from you 
they will ask they will ask us to pay the business tax as well so we will lose out paying an extra money you will lose out paying an extra money now even if you pay that business tax from your pocket the business tax which we will have to pay that would be deducted from the guy's salary who was talking to you okay so let's 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 keep this in mind you need to be a little smart if they don't ask you anything you don't have to tell them anything proactively if in case they ask you tell them that um, um he is one of my friend and uh, i know him personally he is just helping me to buy a property in uh, hong kong that's it okay just put me on loudspeaker and keep me updated when are you leaving when have you reached that's it okay so get yourself changed okay go and get yourself uh, start changing i'm there on the line when you're ready when you're about to leave just let me know that you're about to leave okay and after watching this scumbag scammer convince this victim into going to the bank and she was actually going to do it by the way she was actually leaving the house to go to the bank i decided it was time to call her so we hung up the phone on the scammer's machine and then called the victim Stick around after this call to find out some more information about the money mule. Hello? Hello? Is that Yes? Yeah, um, I'm just calling you regarding what's going on with this refund at the moment. I I'm just letting you know that you're these people are attempting to scam you, okay? I'm calling from a um, an independent anti-scam organisation. And I'm just trying to alert you that these people are trying to scam you. These people that are connected to your PC right now, they're lying to you. Please, please do not go and transfer any money to any bank account in China. No money has gone in or left your account. You, oh. ne you never sent too much money. It was all a scam. It's all a lie. Thank you. Thank you. What, do you just hang on and make sure this isn't happening to people? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, please, if you are you anywhere near your computer? I am near my computer right now. Okay, would you be able to just do me a favour and, and just hold the power button in? Just turn it hold off, please. Turn my computer off? Yes, please, right away. They're trying to call you right now, the scammers are. Okay. I, I'm able to monitor the scammers. Okay, so I turned off my computer. Perfect. And then could you disconnect it? Is there an internet cable plugged into it or are you using Wi-Fi? Right now it's just, I must be, I'm, it's plugged into the wall. Okay. And I must be, I, I'm not going to litter it. Oh, that's okay. That's no so, problem. I'm going to talk you through a few steps to help you make sure the scammers can't connect to your computer again, okay? Okay, Um. so just... Close it up. Yeah, my, once it's shut down, start it back up and, and tell me as soon as it's restarted. Um, what it is, these people, they're scammers from India. They just work in, in little call centres in India and they call US citizens uh, such as yourself and UK citizens such as myself and they just try and oh, steal our money. This is the number I used that was on the thing that said that... Um... Because it looked like somebody had purchased something in my Amazon. Yeah. Again, that's that's false. That's not true. They were lying to you. No one's ever tried to purchase anything on your Amazon account. Okay. So I am... I am now open my computer back up. Yes, please. Just... Is it switched on? It's on. Okay. Would you be able... To, uh, it's trying to block your input. Could you quickly just see that Wi-Fi icon in the corner? In the bottom right? Oh, no. Let me go to the computer illiterate. Sorry. So down at the bottom. There's like some signal bars. Yes, like a half a circle, a little less of a circle, a little less of a circle to nothing. That's right. That, those are the bars. Those bars. Yeah. Just... Uh, could you just click on that and then press disconnect, please, on the, on the connected network? Disconnect. Uh, can you see that? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, is that done? Um, yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, uh, let me just check, because he's going to try and click on you. He's, he's going to try and access your PC now. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem he's able to. Okay, so could you do me a favour? Could you, win, do you know the Windows key? The scammer might have got you to connect to that. The four, the four windows? Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Could you just hold that? That, hold that down and press R, please? The letter R. Well, this is on the actual on the keyboard. The computer, but... On the, the keyboard. keyboard. Okay, I'm, okay, hold the, the four boxes down. Yeah, and press the letter R. 
type the name of the program folder document and internet resource yes. and windows will open it for you that's right and it says notepad now what do i do just, just leave that notepad can you just clear out whatever it says in there please okay and in that box tell me when it's blank and i'll let you know what to type it's blank okay would you be able to just type a p p a p p w i z this is just so I can remove the software that the scammer is using, by the way. W-I-Z? Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, that's, that's the British coming out. App with? Yeah, that's correct. Dot C-P-L. And then just hit enter okay. on your keyboard, please. And in Uninstall that... Uninstall or change the program. That's exactly right. In that list, can you see anything called Screen Connect or Connect Wise Control? Let me try Connect first because I'm up by the C. Okay. Connect. And then what's the last, what was the first one you said? Can you see Screen Connect? Okay, let me come down. Here. Okay, could you just do me a favour? The scammer is currently trying to access your PC. Do you know your wireless router? Uh, no. The the box, the, the Wi-Fi box? Uh, upstairs? Yeah, yeah could, could, you just run, could, could you just go and unplug that, please, as soon as possible? Okay. Thank you. Sorry about all this. That's okay. I'm on my way upstairs now. Just unplug it from the wall if you can. Okay. And how when God set this up, I have no idea. <laughs> Which is this? I'm just trying to. Is the router the big box that says Wi-Fi? Yeah, or just box? just unplug. Yeah, it, it's if it says Wi-Fi, just unplug that. It should have a load of flashing lights on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, just pull the power power cord out of that. Trying to figure out which one of these is the power cord. That's what I thought I did. Sorry about this. I know it could be a bit of a pain, but this is just in entirely to protect you from losing your money. What? I don't want. To... I don't want these criminals taking any money off you. That's all. Did that do it? So you're of the flashing lights on the box gone away now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can go back to your computer now then. If that's okay, cheers. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about this. I'm just trying. I, I don't want these criminals taking no, money off you. No, you don't have to be sorry. I don't know why you're sorry. It's just I'm making you run around the house everywhere, you know. I that's just... all right. You know that we'll look at it as exercise. We'll find a positive note. So it says <laughs> can establish a connection with the main computer. Check your line. Right. So are, are you back at the computer now? Yes. I just don't want any any remote. Um, software on your computer that the scammers could possibly use to connect back to you. Okay. To be honest, I'm watching the scammers right now and they seem to have given up on trying to call you and trying to access you. So at least that's a plus. So it says I need to restart my computer to complete uninstallation. Do Is... you want to restart? And I've hit yes. It, was there not any option to restart later? Or have you already hit yes? I hit yes. That's okay. But I didn't see lights on. That's okay. It says closing one app and restarting. To go back and save your work, click cancel and finish what you need to do. That's and right. then it says untitled notepad. It says restart anyway or cancel. Go to restart anyway. Restart anyway, please. And then your computer should just restart and let me know once you're back to the home screen, okay? And That's right. Launcher. Yeah. Okay. Could you just read that whole list out to me again? I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Could sure. you just... No problem. Um, Alexa, Cortana, Damon... Delayed launcher. Delayed launcher. Dell Mobile Connect Startup. Dell Mobile Connect Welcome. EA Download Manager. Google Chrome. Intel Graphics Connect. Okay, so you don't see anything called Screen Connect or anything in there, no? No. Okay, mm -hmm. that that that's absolutely fine. Then it looks like it looks to me like everything's all good. They're not going to be able to connect to your computer again. That's all that was just to make sure they couldn't they couldn't connect back to you. Okay. okay. I, I just because they they could have if we didn't check that they it was possible that they could have taken control of your computer at any point and logged into your online banking and things like that and that's no good for anyone. So if you. Oh. Know, if in the next few days or whatever you notice any unusual transactions coming out your bank account, please do not hesitate to contact your bank. It's so important. 
you shouldn't because the scammers are, are, are not even trying with you anymore. They've kind of given up. But um, if you notice any odd transactions coming out of your bank account, please phone your bank and get them to reverse them immediately. Okay, I will. I will give them a call anyway. Yeah, um, that's definitely the safest thing, thing to do. And I'll again, on one more piece of advice: if you notice the computer doing things by itself. Call me on this number. You can save me as a contact. My name's Lewis, okay? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get your name and number. Please. Yeah, that's fine. I will do that. I, I really appreciate you helping me. That's okay. Just Thank please you. look out for things like this in the future. If you get calls saying that you've, uh, you're have due a refund, someone's purchased something on your Amazon account, there's problems with your computer, just hang them up because they're always going to be trying to scam you. Okay. All righty. I got it now. I do indeed. Thank okay. you so very much. I appreciate That's it. That's okay. You can go ahead and plug your internet back in now as well if you like. And I have to wait for my son to come home because I'm not going to know where to put any of this stuff. So I'm not going to worry about it unless I can't get on the TV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks so much for listening. I do appreciate you taking the time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank I you so much. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that's another victim saved. But I didn't really want to stop there. I wanted to find out some more information about who she was going to send this money to. It seems in this situation that they're not asking the victim to use gift cards, as you saw. They're getting them to transfer money directly from their bank by physically going into the bank and making the transfer. They're transferring the money to a money mule who appears to be in Hong Kong. The account holder's name is Chan Yu Chung Pong, and he appears to live at this address a block of flats on King's Road in North Point, Hong Kong. I'm going to be making a report, as you can see, to the Hong Kong Fraud Police, as well as the Indian Cybercrime Police, but we all know how useless the Indian Cybercrime Police can be. So let's see if we get a response from the Hong Kong Police about this money mule. And that's going to be about it for this video. I will still keep looking into this company, and if I find any more information, it will be posted here on YouTube and on my Twitter, a link to which you can find in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.